All right, story time. How are we gonna start this? We're All right, gonna this start from one. because apparently we're talking about the topic. About. The okay. topic is okay. Yes, it's finding baby casing. Uh, matter of fact, I don't even want to say his name. We're just gonna say baby K. Do I start over for you saying his no, name? No, no. Okay, yes, keep it baby going. K. Um, it's a lot of y'all out here, basically trying to point the fingers, and we are really just some mothers that were, you know, um, determined to find a baby and find a woman. Okay, so let's start off with how we found this lady. All right, since you okay, here, so. It started as me going to the gas station in Indianapolis because, for one, she's not even from here. She's not from Indianapolis. This happened in Ohio. Um, she came down here. I didn't, I don't, we, we just gonna skip past all of that. I, yeah. I seen this lady at the gas station in Indianapolis. At the time, no, I did not know that that was the lady that took them kids. I was not paying attention to that. She was outside the gas station selling toys. I just so happened to need some toys, and I bought some toys from her. But at the time, I didn't pay attention to nothing but what she had in her bag. I did not pay attention to her. Right, and this was the 20th. Right, so. She stole, she stole the car and kidnapped the kids on the night of the 19th. She dropped one baby off at the airport and kept one baby, baby with her. But at this point, she didn't have no car. She didn't have no baby. She was just outside the gas station selling, selling toys. When I seen her, she did. She was yeah, exactly. So I bought the toys from her, and um, she asked me for a ride, and I asked her where was she trying to go to. The first thing was she didn't know where she was trying to go. The first thing she said was to a hood, and I'm like, well, what hood? And she's like, um, somewhere where they got some drugs at. And I'm like, well, what drugs are you trying to get? And she said crack. So I'm like, oh, I don't know where to get that from. Like I can drop you off, but I don't know where you can get that from. So she's like, okay, um. Okay, she asked me part for two. a ride. Part two, because it stopped. So, still at the time when she called me, you know, or when I had called her back to see if she still had stuff for sale, I'm still not knowing that this is the person. I'm still not knowing. Of course, you speculating ass bitches that swear y'all detectives is gonna swear I knew this person, but I did not. But, um, back to what I was saying. I still did not know at the time that this was the girl that kidnapped these kids. And at the time, I didn't even to know. To speed it up, to speed, speed this up. I did not discover until yesterday night that I had a damn kidnapper in my car and I took her down the street the to a plaza. First. I did not know this. And this is the night I didn't know this. First when she's figuring all this out. But I'm figuring together. all this out yesterday night because I was scrolling on Facebook and I seen a mugshot of this girl with like blind hair. And I'm like, damn, she looked familiar as fuck. But mind you, the girl Nay. She, call her yeah, Nay. she ended she up telling me her hair. name was May. She told me her name was May. So... With me not really being, you know, when I seen the mug shot and I'm, I'm like, this person look familiar, but I'm not knowing from where. So it's still clicking in my brain. If I back up a little bit, the, uh, the place that I dropped her off at, she ended up hopping out of my car and she just pulled her pants down and start pissing me and the world that we live in today. I pulled my camera out and I started recording her ass. But by the time she start, she, uh, was pulling her pants back up is like when I was pulling my camera out. So I only got a little bit of her on my video. So, with that, with the video that I had and the, the mug shot that I seen, I'm like, something is like, let me see. Mommy. This this looked like the person that I gave a ride to. Ask, so, I, I went to the video that I recorded to her, and I went to the mug shot, and I'm like, this is the same fucking person. All I had was a side no, no, view no, of wait, her with this video that I had, though. So, I screenshotted the video. 
and the nose was the fucking same. The color was the same. Like, I just, once I seen all that and I'm like, this is the same fucking person, I start digging. And I'm like, let me be 100% sure before I just send a fucking person to jail and I don't know if it's really them. Because a lot of black people look alike. Let's, let's start there. So, I'm telling my grandma, I'm like, grandmother, the lady I told you I seen at the gas station and I bought some stuff from, I think this is the same lady that stole these kids. And she's like, well, why do you think that? And I start telling, I start showing her and telling her why. And she was like, well, you know, a lot of people do look the same, but you know, it may not be her. So I kept digging and digging and digging and digging. I reached out to so many people. And I'm like, listen, I think this is the same person just to see if somebody else would say, yeah, that's the same fucking person. So I reached out to her. Yes. I reached out to her. Yes. So when she reached out to me. I, was I sent her time. the shit. She sent me the, the news article. And I'll and post that too because y'all think yeah. a motherfucker out here pump faking yeah, or so, something. So like, no. Yeah, so first, I don't I don't know that lady. My bad. <laughs> no, you okay. You okay. Yes, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so so part three of finding baby K. All right, so at this point, she contacted me so I can do my detective work. Of course, we are some top of the line detectives. So she sends me the screenshot of the article. She sends me... A pit, the, the video of her peeing outside of the car in the screenshot. So I'm at work at the time. I'm looking and I'm like, okay, I can't really look, so I'll look at it tonight. I don't even think I even looked at it last night. You did. Um, and as a matter of fact, I did look at it last night. So I didn't really think nothing of it because I couldn't really see. So this morning, when she called and asked me what my thoughts was, I'm like, twin, I don't, I don't really know, but let me do my research. So I finally went and I'm looking at the news article. I'm looking at the uh, mug shots. I'm looking. I'm looking at this girl. I'm looking at the timeline. I found the YouTube video of the girl, Nay, um, threatening to kill her baby's father or something like that because she apparently was abusing her own kids. So at this point, I'm looking for a video. I find a video and I'm like, okay, well, this looks like her. Like, I already seen that the nose looked like, but I was like, okay, I don't know. I got to see some, some more stuff. So I'm like, well, if she was in the car with her. She gave her a ride. She talked to her. I know she know what her voice sound like. So let me send her the video because I know she did not see the video of the lady on YouTube. So I sent her the video of the lady on YouTube while we on FaceTime. I mean, we're on, uh, we're on the phone. So at this point, she's looking at the video. She hangs up. She calls me back. So when she called me back, she's like, twin, that's her. That's Sorry her. God. Like that, that she was like, it was that's confirmed. Her. Yeah, definitely it was confirmed. Was confirmed after and I'm that. like, this bitch is so about I'm to like, go okay, to jail. Yeah, exactly. So of course, we ain't no police ass people. She didn't know what to do at this point. Now, me from previous situations, I know what to do. So I'm looked at the news article previously and I seen something about um a detective. It's like oh, go go get daddy, baby. So I seen something about um a detective. So I instantly contact the detective. I'm telling the detective everything that I know. I sent him a screenshot. He's like, okay, well, it sounds like her. Kind of looks like her. You know, I need, I can, I need kind of more. So at this point, um, did you already talk about how she ate that and stuff like that? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Was, so yeah. Mm. At this point, I'm like, she like, okay, well, she has some hair to do. At that point, everything I had hair to do. Everything was off limits. It was the main priority was finding to see if this girl was her and to find literally. Baby. Mind you, I'm pulling up to the girl's house. Who hair I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah. I'm already at my hair appointment. And tell She's her, like, no, fuck that hair appointment. Let's go get this bitch. Yes, let's go. So I didn't tell the girl who hair I'm supposed to be doing. Another person I'm that sorry, can vouch baby. for the story. Sorry, ma'am. I told her like, listen. <laughs> I show her, I said, look at this picture. I said, and she said, and she said hold on, let me pull up the mug shot. When I showed her the video that I had, she said, that's you her. right there. She said, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah baby. I'm so, out of here. So at that point, and she we was, headed over she there. She said, twin, I'm on the way. So she pulled up to me, part four. Okay, this is getting crazy now. Okay, this is part four of finding baby K. So I think we left off at... And her pulling up to me. Okay, so this was this morning, the morning of the 22nd. 12, 22, 22. Remember that date. Now, they said it was going to be miracles, and best believe it was a miracle. So, she pulls up to me instantly. I grab my choice of weapon, and we're headed off. We're on our way. So, instantly, uh, mind you, I already contacted the detective. I already contacted. Yeah. Okay. So at this point, she's we, she pulled up to me. I already contacted the detective. We are on our way out west. Okay, because that's the last place she's seen her. Um, at this point, um, you did talk about her to me. I didn't, you? I didn't talk uh, okay, about that so part. Yeah. But the okay. girl, the the night that um, was it yesterday? Yeah, last yesterday. Night. 
when she when I talked to her, I'm like, I'm playing it off because now I know that it's her. So now I'm like, let me see if this bitch is still down here. Like, let me see how I can get this bitch locked up. Like, yeah. let me see what I can do. Uh, can so I, now I, I called I her. I hurt. called her and I played it off. I'm like, hey girl, you ain't um you never called me back. I had called the phone earlier and told him to have you call me when you woke up. And she was like, Yeah, girl, like in and out of it. She's she just pauses a lot. So um She repeats what you say. So me. I stopped. Okay, so when I was on the phone with her, she was supposedly supposed to be getting me some stuff, like selling me some stuff. But I was telling her, I was like, okay, send me the address. What she don't remember is she gave me the address yesterday night. But what she said was, don't pull up over here until I call you. So I never pulled up over there. I and wanted her to trust her. me. You feel me? So she would just, so I could get her locked up. And she period. never called her back last night. She never called me back last night. So I let it rest. And when I woke up, the first thing I did was call her. So we are, we coming up to with get a plan. We coming up with a plan. Definitely was coming up with a plan to figure out how we was going to get it. Her. Her. How am I going to see if this is her? How are we going to get a confirmation? Yeah. What are we going to do? So I'm like, okay, well, are we, at, we talking to the detective. We answering all the questions he's been talking to. We didn't talk to the FBI. We didn't literally talk to everybody we could possibly talk to. The mother, the father, everybody, like literally. While y'all pressing the issue, we didn't already talk to everybody. We've been talking to everybody all day. Every step Literally. of the way, we've been talking to people. Okay, Why y'all so, talking about we was just pulled over exactly. at this time yeah, and that's no. happening okay, at so like y'all. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, we get to her, we get to the west side and I'm like, call her twin. So she called and she's like, hey girl, um, you know, I, what happened girl? You gonna give me some stuff? Cause she was asleep. The man answered the phone and, and she, she was like, I just woke up. You know, um, uh, um, I can, I can get it for you. Uh, you need some stuff. And like, yeah, we need some stuff. Oh, oh, you need some stuff. She just kept repeating. She repeats everything that you say. So at this point, yeah, we need some stuff. She said, okay, can y'all get me some male clothing? Now that's strike one. It was, it was, she didn't know I was in the car at this point. So that yep. threw me off guard. So instantly we go to the closest store and I'm like, twin, I bought, I bought the male clothes. You know, I'm buying the clothes. So I need to see if this is hurt at this point. So go to the store. We buy the male clothing. Okay. So this is part five of finding baby K. Um, she's on her phone. I'm on my phone. So y'all can get the story from both pages. Um, okay, so we left off on the part of finding, getting her some clothes. She asked us to get her some black clothing. So we went to Dollar General to get her some black clothing. Um, once we got the clothing, we're trying to figure out, like, how are we about to apprehend her? How are we about to do this? What are we about to do? So we asking the Dollar General people for help, for help. Like, you know, hey, we got this girl. We think that she kidnapped the kids. Can y'all help us? Like, she wants us to take her to go steal. So if we take her, if we bring her here, can y'all lock her in here? So he's like, no, we can't lock her in here. Y'all can just call the police. But we like, we don't want to alert her so she can just run and just run away. We we don't want to do that. So basically they couldn't help. So at this point, we left Dollar General with the clothes. We pulled back up to the street that she asked us to pull up to. So we like, hey, girl, she like, hey, girl, because she don't know I'm in the car yet. So she like, hey, girl, I'm at the corner, you know, where you told me you wanted to meet. She was like, well, pull down here where the Christmas tree at. And we like Christmas tree because we didn't already went past the house. We know the address. She just forgot that she gave us the address. So I gave her the address. So at this point, we like, we ain't seen no Christmas tree. Maybe she just talking about a, Chris, a tree outside because it is a tree. And the house... <clears throat> was a sea house okay if you know what that is you a sea head yeah that's what kind of house it was um for real so she ended up coming outside like oh uh, damn so she knew that we seen it she was like i don't want y'all to see what house i'm on me i don't want you to see what house is coming out of red so, flag after red yeah, flag yes but so i just many. wanted to confirm that this was really her before a motherfucker sent the people over there over to the there house, to the house me? right that that's, yeah. that's all what it was about exactly confirming confirm that's why she hurt. came with me to look at her too to look at her to face confirm. Like, i can't really see but i need to see her face hear her voice see if this is her so you ain't gotta you know feel like you're crazy so by all means she finally came outside she told us to pull out in front of the house we pull out in front of the house she gets in the car so she's in the back seat. She grabs a bag that's on the floor outside, that's been outside, just getting rained on. Who knows what was in the back? So she hops in the car. She hops in the back seat. We give her the clothes. I'm like, hey, girl. She, you know, high. Of course, she instantly said she was high. Definitely said she likes to do drugs. Perk. Yes, off a of perk. And a car pulled up in front. So I'm like, girl, do you know who car this is? Because I'm She paranoid. didn't say nothing at first. Yeah. So I asked her again. And then we yeah. seen a man come outside. So she was like, oh, that's him. You know, he's buying some, some, some C drugs. And she was like, I like to do C drugs. So at this point... I'm like, okay, girl, you know, your, your choice is your choice. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. Trying babe. to make That's, her comfortable. Make her uncomfortable as much as possible. So I'm like, hey, babe, you know, your clothes is back there. You ready to change? You know, what store you want to go to? Where do you feel comfortable? So at this point, she's not from here. So she don't know. She starts naming stores. So she named Burlington. 
She named, uh, what was the other thing? Rainbow. Rainbow. And she named Papa, Papa John's. John's. But okay. Papa John's is not by Rainbow. Okay, listen. So this is part six? I yeah. Six, okay, yeah. so yeah, we are part six to finding baby K and literally apprehending Nay. We, yeah, her name is Nay. That's her name. Nayla, Nala, whatever the Yeah, fuck. Nayla Jackson is We're her name. We're calling her the exact. kidnapper. Exactly. All right, the, the drug addict kidnapper. That's what we're going to call it, the homeless person. She got a lot of names. Okay, so um, at this point, we got her in the car. There's a man in front of us buying drugs, and she's telling us her choice of drugs, and we're asking her where she wants to go. So she's naming these stores. Okay, now I want y'all to keep that in mind. She said Burlington. She said Rainbow. She said Papa John's. Now, these three stores is nowhere near each other, but still keep the stores in mind. All right, so at this point... um. She's taking too long to basically tell me where, where she want to go, and I'm the driver. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm about to just drop. So she did say Burlington. I'm like, okay, well, she wanted to go to Once Upon a Child. That's too yep, far, baby. That's, once upon yeah, Once Upon a Child was too far, baby. So we like, we, that's all the way in Greenwood. We, we ain't going to Greenwood. Not Greenwood police really. better than IMPD. But we still wouldn't have found the baby. If we, if we would have went uh, all the way yeah, out there, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have, have been, about, yeah, yeah, we wouldn't so been thinking about whatever we was thinking about. So um, we took her to... Shoppers where we, we was going to Burlington, but in my mind, I'm driving. I don't it's know my way out west. Out west. I'm, I'm, I'm west on my way out east. east yes, exactly. So I'm on my way out west, and I don't know where I'm going. I'm like, I feel like I'm going to Shoppers where she's like, damn, twin. You are going to Shoppers World. My bad. So I'm pulling into Shoppers World a lot. At this point, I was going in circles before we even pulled up to Shoppers World. She was like, slow down. She's starting to get nervous because we're going in circles. She's like, okay, hold on. I don't know if I feel comfortable no more. Slow down. I'm like, nah, baby, it's cool. You feel me? I didn't know where I was going, but now I know where I'm going. So, at this point, we get in the car, we drive into Shoppers where we ask Shoppers where She instantly like, one of y'all come in. Twin, like, I'm not going in. I'm like, you know what? I'll go in. She asked for my jacket. Baby, you ain't wearing my jacket. No, you can't. You ain't. So, at this point, whole time I'm driving, I got my phone in my hand. I'm looking at the mugshot, and I'm looking in the rearview mirror, and I'm like, damn. This is really this girl. Yeah, I'm looking at the nose. Die. I'm looking at the star. I'm looking at the lips. I'm looking at her eyebrows. I'm looking at everything that I can possibly look at at this girl to see if it's her. And the confirmation was just too crazy. So on the way to Shoppers World, I'm like, ma'am, do you have any kids? She said, no, I don't have kids, but I got a spiritual grandbaby. What do you mean a spiritual grandbaby? I, I'm, top, I'm like, well, how old is your oldest daughter? How old is your oldest kid then since you got a spiritual grandbaby? Oh, I don't know. I said, well, baby, how old are you? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm y'all age. I said, well, baby, we old. You don't even know how old. Well, how old are y'all? I said, ma'am, I'm old. I got five kids. Okay? I'm old. I'm trying to throw her off to, so she can tell me her age. She's still really? So she can just be comfortable, comfortable with yeah, being still. in the car with us so we can figure out how the hell we about to get her ass yeah. apprehended. So I tell her, hey, I'm an advocate for... And it's All right, so this is part six of finding baby K and apprehending A. So we just left off on the part of her. We getting her comfortable in the car. We asking her questions. We're seeing how many. Uh, does she got some kids? She said no, but she do have a spiritual grandbaby. Okay, now that threw me off guard because what do you mean spiritual grandbaby? I'm thinking like, okay, does she do something to the baby? But how am I gonna ask her? Does she do something to the baby? Like I'm, I'm throw it off. Yeah, we throwing we it off. Anything about her doing what? Yes, yeah, she's she gonna hop out this back. So we had to. Do it, play it the way that we played it. And I'm so like, glad period. that we played we it the way play that we it played like that. it. So at this point, I'm like, well, ma'am, I'm a um, I'm a counselor for kids. She like, are you a counselor for adults? Twin, like I am. And I was like, yeah, I can be a counselor for adults. You know, do you want to talk about some things? And she was like, uh, I do nails. Um, I can do your nails. And she just got that. So Terry was like, well, I do nails. And she was like, well, can I do your toes? Can I do your toes? She was just so happy about doing somebody's toes and doing somebody's nails. Um. And she just kept asking, just just kept, she was AWOL. She said she was high for Percocet. She said, she kept asking us, can we get her some drugs? Pregnant and yes. she needed to stop doing drugs, drugs. and smoking if yes. she was pregnant. Yep, she talked about like, going to rehab. She was all over the place. She was Literally all over, all over the place. It didn't make sense. At this point, it was just like, man, what are you talking about? So, um, after I said that I was there for kids, she wanted to do some nails. Okay, she wants to do your toes. What else? What am I missing? Shit, by this time, we just trying to figure out what store did she want to go to. Yeah, so we like, what we she didn't want to... Hold it down, twin. You can let it go. Oh, I can. 
That's I'm it. only supposed to just press it and let it go. <laughs> okay. It down, so I, don't I know get it. What My bad. I'm off. new to this social media stuff. Okay, so really it's okay. So at this point, we talking to her and uh, she asking us what we need. I'm like, can you get some baby stuff? Now I'm trying to get in your head. Can you get some baby stuff? Baby diapers, baby clothes, baby this, baby that. She was like, yeah. Um, um, everybody pregnant? Everybody pregnant? Yeah. I, I was like, I was like why are you pregnant? pregnant? She gonna here. say no. And then that's when she was like, oh well, I might be pregnant. It just it was just she too much. She was everywhere. She was definitely everywhere. Definitely everywhere. So at this point. We make it, we finally make it to Burleson. So at this point, we're at Burleson. We're outside. I go in there with her to make her feel comfortable. I'm like, well, baby, are you going to put your clothes on? She said, I'm going to change in the bathroom inside of Burleson. So I'm like, okay, ma'am, whatever you're talking about, whatever you, you know, whatever. So we get to the door and we go in there. I'm I really want you to walk in there with her, but okay. So she gets in there. She got to check in because she got a, a, a shopper's wear bag. We didn't even go to Burlington. We went to shopper's wear. I'm, I'm sorry. So she got a shopper's wear bag and the man stopped her like, hey, are you doing a return? She's like, yeah. So I instantly start walking off because I'm going around the store and I'm on the phone with the detective in Columbus again. So I'm like, hey, detective, you know, I did what you asked me to do. They're not answering the phone. You know, I don't know what you want me to do. Um, basically, they give me the run around. So at this point, what do you want me to do? Okay, so we are on part eight of finding baby K and apprehending Nate. Okay, so I believe the last part we left off us when we was going into Shopper's World. So we went into Shopper's World. She's checking in because she got a bag and she that's I got I guess that's how she was gonna steal. I don't know. So she had a bag from Shopper's World. So we're going in here. Um, I gave her the bag. Yes, twin gave mm -hmm. her the bag out the trunk. That's why. Okay, so I twin gave her the bag out the trunk, trunk, and she tried to get my jacket. I'm like, Nah, baby, you ain't wearing my jacket. Twin, do you got another jacket? And we got this on record because we was recording her voice at this point. We need to get every piece of evidence that we can. So, um, at this point, we go into Shoppers World. She's checking in. I'm walking around the store because now I'm on the phone with the with the detectives in um Columbus, and he's telling me to call the FBI. He's like, "There's a reward," and I'm like, "You know, I ain't, it ain't even about the reward. I'm trying to figure out how we about to get her away from me, away from us, <laughs> and, and into our custody. Baby, like, no, for trying real, to trying to figure it out because she didn't say nothing about the baby. She didn't. Didn't she didn't mention she didn't mention the no baby. baby. She, she didn't, didn't even seem like she had it. But the they baby wasn't the mama was breastfeeding twin. That probably was breast milk in that bottle. That that's you what I was saying. That. That's what I was like. like and then milk. that's something like it. I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I know. So I'm like, okay. Um. So at this point. She's inside. She's checking in. I guess she's taking forever. But I'm walking around. I'm like, okay, detective so and so. I'm 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 here now. I called the IMPD. They're talking IMPD. I am so upset. I'm disappointed. These people don't ask me for what y'all want me to do. What y'all? What do you mean? What do you want I said, don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. I hang up on them. I call the detective back. I said, look here, detective. Do I need to uh, walk her in here at gunpoint to the police department at this point? And I was laughing about it, but I was so serious. Like, at this point, what do I need to do? I said, at this point, because I'm not going to drop her back off. And they no, they wasn't. trying to make a motherfucker think that, they, like, we're crazy. This is not yep. her. Like, so, they even was about to let the lady go, but we yes, ain't going to get to that part. Right, yeah. So, at this point, now we inside. I'm still inside. So, she comes back outside. While she's outside... The people call her phone. The people who but have that she was, was at. before. That was before the girl made it back out to the car. Yes, yeah, so before she, called, she made it back out to the car, somebody called my phone two times. Mind you, she had my number. So the uncle, I'm I'm assuming because this is what they said when they called my phone. How she was at is who uncle. gave these girls my number. So His when they niece. called me. She was still in the store, and the girl was still in the store. So I answered, but I was on the phone with my daughter's grandma at the time. So I'm like, hold on, let me call you right back. Somebody, you know, is clicking in. So I clicked over, and I'm like, hello? they like, um, is Nayla with you? And I'm like, who? It clicked on me. I'm like, who? they like, Nayla, the girl that you uh, picked up from my uncle's house. She stole from my uncle. She stole something from Mind my uncle's house. Mind you, she told us her name was Ma and Dominique. May, girl, quick saying May, Ma. I'm my May. bad. May, she, May Ma. Yeah, May. M-A. She okay. told me her name was May. That's why she keeps saying Ma. She didn't know the girl name. She told me her name was May. Yeah, so. She got to saying Dominique when she got in the car. Yeah. So she and finally she comes out. she told me to add her on Facebook. And, and then I got asked weird. her what her Facebook name was. And I don't know. She got quiet. Yeah. Okay, so this is part. Nine. Oh, okay, I, I think track. this is part nine. Not for real. This is so many goddamn parts. Okay, so part nine is finding baby K and apprehending Nate. So we inside of Shoppers World. She's trying to steal, but she's she's caught up. They call her phone, saying the name Nayla. So this is how we know it's her. This it is the final really confirmation. I'm, I'm like, okay, this is confirmed. Final fuck, confirmation like, that we needed. Let's was get that these name? police to us. Like, exactly. So at this when point, I got that phone call. She's blowing me up. To look, I'm blowing her up to tell her like. Get out, her. Her. get out here! Get out here! Get out here fast! Come on! Okay, I'm telling you, y'all better, better get y'all one of these. Y'all better get y'all one of these. 
Okay, so um, Nayla makes it out um before me, and I'm still on the phone with the with the text. So I'm making it seem like I'm on the phone. I'm like, I don't know what to do at this point, sir. I'm trying to use all my options here. Like at this point, I'm getting fed up. They're getting on my damn nerves now. The IMPD. So I'm like, okay, well I'm about to just take her back to the house. So I get back to the car. She's letting me know, like, why? What took you so long? And I'm like, oh, well, my bad. I'm on the phone with my fiance. Mind answer. you, I was lying. So, um. She like taking me to Dollar, take me to Dollar uh, General, Dollar Tree. So now we have to Dollar Tree. We pass the Goodwill. She gonna say go to Goodwill. Yeah, she gonna uh, ask, go to Aldi's. Go to Aldi's and Goodwill. Aldi's right there, Goodwill right there, girl. Who Baby, you be who? For? Not me. Exactly. So at this point, uh -uh. she like, okay, what y'all need out here? We like, okay, get some household. I don't know, get some gain or get some dub. We don't even know at this We're point. She's trying to tell so, her anything to get the police. So I'm on the phone with the much. detective again. I'm like, hey, we at Dollar Tree. She went inside. So the police called me back. So I'm on the phone with the police. And I'm like, hey, well, you know, we're here at Dollar Tree. They're asking, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. They were pissing me off so bad, y'all. I got my patience was going to stand at that point. Yeah. So I'm like, look out. here. I said, she's You're inside Dollar Tree. What kind of car are you in? Ma'am, you don't even need to know what kind of car I'm in. She's inside the store. Go get her. So at this point, I'm like, okay, by the time y'all come, she's going to be outside. I said, we are in yeah, a so-and-so car, and out. this is what we about to do. We about to pull off. I said, y'all can just pull us over, okay? So, she comes out fast. When I say this girl is a, is a real thief, yeah, this baby was in there in and out, full stockings, full of She had something. a lot of stuff in she her was only in there for 10 out. seconds, 30 seconds tops. 30 yeah, seconds tops. She did that quick. I look in the back, I'm like, okay. So now we um we we pull out of the parking lot. I'm seeing cops pull in. So it's a car in front of me taking forever to turn. I'm blowing my horns to notify the cops that's around us that's looking for our car to see us. No, still didn't see us at this point. Now I'm really pissed off. <laughs> so she's about to turn left. I'm like twin. Well, we getting on the highway. The highway to the right. So twin hop two times to the right. She's like, oh yeah. So at this point now the police is calling me back because they're like, y'all not at Dollar Tree. I'm like, babe. I'm on 65 South. I'm headed home, babe. That's where I'm at, babe. I'm, I'm headed home, babe. To the kids, babe. I'm headed home. So at this point, they hang up because now they know that we on 65 South. They know what kind of car we in. They know the. All right, so this is part 10, y'all. We are finally. We ain't even getting to the end. <laughs> we ain't even. Boy, we ain't close to the end, baby. <laughs> no, we not close to the end whatsoever. Okay, so, um. Okay, now the police know what kind of car we in. The police know who we got in the car. The police know what to do. They know where our location is. So now I'm getting anxious. I'm getting excited. I'm getting anxious. Uh, honey. So we already know. So twin, like, put your seatbelts on. The police is coming up we, fast. Uh, we plan it off now to make it yeah. seem like we not setting her up. Exactly. So at this so point, I'm like, I'm video. Man, what, what? So that's why the live video y'all hear us in. We, it's her it being set up. Yes, we were her supposed being set to up. get pulled over. Yes, we were. That was part of the plan. That was part of the whole plan. Um... So all that extra stuff, this is this is the truth is, is here for y'all. Yeah. So it was two lives pain, actually. Baby. The first live got deleted. Or the no, the one first did? live is still there. The okay, second the live, live got deleted because we were cussing and threatening and doing stuff yeah. like that. So they okay. deleted it and blocked me. Right. So now the police is behind us. I'm trying to signal them. I'm over here pressing her windshield wipers and not the uh, signal. The light. The, the light. light. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't see that I'm trying to signal them. So anyway, they finally pull us over. So I'm like, oh, nobody's seen you stealing. So Twin, like, nobody's seen y'all stealing. Look, I'm looking back like, and I'm anybody like, seen uh, you stealing? Dang, girl. I was like, how? Oh. I was like, throw everything on the floor. Throw everything on the floor. I'm telling her. I'm like, everybody put y'all seatbelt on. Yeah. Everybody put y'all so seatbelt on. So she over there. She's like, what? Huh? huh? I'm like, the uh, police is behind us. Instantly, she grabs her baby's sh twins my, stuff. Uh, yes, baby's my daughter's pants. Pants wrap around her face, cover up her eyes. Now she slouched out, got her hand out her shirt. Now she's super uncomfortable. Now she's acting super weird. Weird as So fuck. instantly the cop come over there and say everything that they said. First of all, we think that's the 52 fake off. Nah. Yeah, he done. He talking about my this, place, this, my this, bumper, this, bitch. Much. Look here. You're yeah. supposed to be getting a fugitive, the fugitive baby. What are you doing? Car. Exactly. We're worried about this car. I'm so the cops pick. come to my window. She's like, "Are you? did you call the police? No. No, I didn't, ma'am. You was not supposed to be coming up to my not window. Not supposed to be saying it. Now. They was not getting with where, the program where is at all. Where, huh? like, come on, where is y'all player? Where yeah. is that? What is going on? Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know how to set people up at this uh -uh. point. It's pissing me off. So, I'm like, no, I didn't call the police. But I'm showing her my phone that I just got off the phone with the police. I'm showing her my phone that the, the news article of this girl. Because she's like, who is that in the back seat? Her name is Ma. I ain't turning May. May. Her name is, her Girl, name just is going May. to say her real name now. Her name she is really right? But no, I'm telling the police her name is May. Ma, whatever I told him. I was like, I don't know her. She was like, is she not feeling well? Because the way she was covered up, I said, I don't know. 
So at this point, they asked Twin to get out the car. Twin is t back there talking to him. She asked me for my ID. I don't have my like ID. I was the kidnapper, bitch. But I'm like, I got me. my gun on me. So she asked me to take my stuff off. I take my stuff off. I put my gun up there. At this point, I'm like, ma'am, I need to get out this car. Like, I got yeah, my anxiety to the roof. And she's like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. So finally, they start asking her questions to the girl in the back seat. Finally, y'all, they should have did that from the jump. Boy, it took them like three minutes. So it finally, took them a minute to even hit their lights and pull me over. I'm trying to three swerve minutes, a little bit. Literally Let me three minutes. A little bit. So pull me over. No, for real. Here, they need to hear everything. Sick ass bitches. Oh. Okay, so now we at part. This is part eleven. All right, we're at part eleven of finding baby K and apprehending A. So. We are now we pulled over, y'all. Finally, we was pulled the fuck the f over, okay? So we pulled over. At this point, the police is acting super strange. Like y'all don't know all the information that I gave y'all. Literally, y'all not, y'all not, y'all not putting one and one together and to make two. Y'all getting one and one, putting one and one together and, and making nine. Like what do y'all think? Come on now. So she, she's out. Twins out the car at this point. They asking her questions. They still asking me questions. I'm giving her my phone. Like call my fiance, and I gave her my phone with the news article. So the news article is. Is telling you, telling, telling her everything. without us having to say it in front of her. Her in the back seat. So they still point, acting dumb. Still acting dumb. So at this point, I'm like, okay. Um, she takes my phone. She's showing it to other people. Okay. So now I go over there to her car. They open up her door. They like, well, what's your name? She was quiet for two minutes. She didn't even say nothing. I swear to God, when she didn't say, she didn't say shit. I was out the car. When they asked her her name, baby, she didn't say nothing. She didn't say nothing. And then they was like, well, ma'am, ma'am, you know, she was like, um, I'm a minor. Um, can you call my mom at 614 something, 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 something. My mom, my parents told me not to talk to, to the cops. I can't, I can't give you any information. I'm a minor. I, I don't know my name. I, I, I don't know. I don't know this. And I don't know this. She was acting. Bitch. I couldn't. Like at this point, I was trying to give them the information that they needed without right, asking right, me. Right. So I'm even writing her name down. I'm like, give me a pen and a piece of paper. And I wrote Nagla Jackson down. So I'm writing them. I'm giving them every clue that they need. And they're still pissing me off because they're not putting two and two together. So at this point, um, she's acting real slow. She has a wallet. She pull out the wallet and you see the ID. The police is like, well, ma'am, I see the ID. So this could either go two ways. We could be here for hours or we can be here for minutes. Whatever you want to do, this is how we can do it. You know, it's up to you. You pick and choose what you want to do. So she was like, um, um, okay, what, what, what is this for? Um, um, what do you need? And she actually looked at me. She said, what are they asking for? Ma'am, they're asking for your ID. <laughs> Okay, ain't that your ID right there? Because she told us she didn't have ID. I, we, we done missed the part. She was even asking her because she worked underneath her to get paid. She was trying to stay here Girl, in Indianapolis. Yeah, she had and it. Work. She kind of seemed like she, like this, yeah. Yeah, baby. she was trying to work. She didn't she care about to... getting that baby back nope. or none of that shit. Nope. Like, she was, she was, was a dirty work. bitch. Yeah, so at this point, they asked her questions. They look at the ID. So now they look at the ID. They pull me out the car. Now they pull me out the car and they're like, okay, well... We don't think that that's her in that yeah, article. He, okay, the officer that pulled me out was like, well, why do you think that it's her? So I pulled my phone up because I was still live at the time. So I'm like, let me end this live and let me show you on my phone why I think that this is her. So I show him the video that I told y'all about in the other videos that I took of her. I showed him that video. I showed him a screenshot and I showed him her mug shot. But he has told us to let her to go drop her off at, at, a, a, at a homeless shelter. Yeah, at a homeless they shelter. They asked me the same question. So now we are part 12, right? Yeah, we are part, yeah. We're at part 12. So the police has got both of us out the car. They're asking, why do we feel positive for two seconds? All right, go ahead. Why do we feel like it's her um, in a news article? We're giving them every information that we can give. Every detail. We're showing them every article. Everything that, that points point, back to her. Every mug shot, everything. They're like, well, the ID she showed us looks, looks like, like her. her. She tweeted like that is my cousin's ID and blah blah blah. That she her got name. from out of my back seat. The officer, the woman officer, she instantly she's like, okay, hold on, wait a minute. How does she know the name on the ID? You know what I'm saying? Like this thing, this ain't this don't make sense right. right now. So something's off with this girl. They like, well, I don't know. Y'all just need to get rid of her, put her at a homeless shelter, just drop her off. We like, yep, what? They was not putting her so in handcuffs. So Twin is getting upset. She's like, uh, yeah. uh, yep, yep, okay, yeah, yep, I was yep. not done because now at this yes. point I'm trying to think, well, what the fuck do we do next? Exactly. Like, so, what do we do next? What do we tell this bitch? Exactly. Now if we got to pull off with this hoe. <laughs> what, we got to drag her to the police station? Like, what the? They pissed me off, for point. real. They did. So at this point, I'm like, no, there is no way. Because Twin was showing them a mugshot when she had her orange hair. Now she had black hair, but she was still bald headed. So I said, take my phone, this mugshot right here, tell her to take everything off of her face, and you're going to see it's her. 
They grabbed my Them phone. Them motherfuckers try to make us think we was we crazy, crazy on my yes. life. They yes. told us that that was not the motherfucking girl in that mug shot. And it was. So be why y'all sitting up here trying to throw stones at us? Throw, throw fucking stones at IMPD. IMPD, bitch. That's what y'all need to be throwing stones Cause at. Because they wasn't about to we take the, her We ass. the true detectives. We the truest. We, we wasn't really? letting it fucking rest. Mm -mm. FBI better put But they definitely head. let it rest. Better get y'all one of these. <laughs> they better get y'all one of these. Okay, so at this point, um, they she the uh, female officer, was two female officers and like three males. So it was me in the video saying, Oh, we getting pulled over. We was not stealing from Walmart. We was never even in Walmart. We never even got out the car to steal. We never anything. even went to Walmart. Never Denise. went to Walmart. Exactly. Stupid ass, stupid people. We never even stole nothing. We was letting her do the stuff so she can get so caught. So she inside can get store, caught and so get So we can figure out the best way to up. get her locked up. Exactly. So y'all stupid. Y'all not even making sense. Y'all not now. putting two and two together just like the IMPD. Y'all like us. Exactly. Y'all slow. Fact, just like them. Y'all are the IMPD. Exactly. Y'all doing a horrible so, job. I'm like the female officer. She grabs my phone. She tells the girl to um, take all the stuff off her face. Ding, ding, ding. They said, yep. Everybody Grab instantly their ass up grabbed out of there. their ass that car so fast. Yeah. Please show the live of her getting um at the car and getting put in handcuffs and all that. But Mark blocked her. Yeah. Of course he would. Because we was talking Mark about <laughs> we was talking about so much stuff after that. So we in the car. We waiting like 30 minutes out in the car, really. Um yeah, they basically had waiting on them to give me my gun and said that we was released, all type of stuff. Yeah. Finally released us. When we finally get released, that we give them our information. They tell us, hey, that a lot of officers and stuff will be contacting us. That's perfectly fine. We leave, but we had already con no at right now. This this is not when we contacted people. Right after we leave, we um okay. So part thirteen, y'all. <laughs> so at this point, the police finally got the uh, got her out the car. She's finally in handcuffs. Finally, so we wait, we waiting forever. They finally let us go. As soon as they let us go, I'm like, okay, well, let me contact the mother. So I'm trying to find the mother. I find a finding Cason's page. I'm like, okay, well, she's in, she's apprehended. You know, um, the family needs to contact IMPD so they can get some further leads or however it needs to go. They blocked me like, that's not true. Because they was like, yeah. where's she at? I'm like, well, she was found in Indianapolis, Indiana. That's not true. I need to block her and that. So they blocked me. Okay, all cool, all fine, all dandy. I don't care. So I kept doing research. I'm seeing on people's page, and I see something to say um, the mother's name. Um, I don't want to disclose the mother's name, and I'm not. So um, I find the mother, and I see that she has not been on Facebook in so long, but I inbox her anyway. I see something to say an uh, update. It was her Instagram. I go on her Instagram. I'm, I DM her on Instagram. Still no response. I try to call her on Instagram. Still no response, but that's okay. So something's telling me look at her story. I don't even be on Instagram like that. So, um, my name is Mika Monet on Instagram too. Um Next, Shaw. as exactly. As far as Facebook, y'all can find everything on Facebook too. So, um, with Mika Monet. So I go to the uh her story. First thing I see on her story is something to say 10k reward, Dion, Dion Green. So I see a phone number. I'm like, twin, call this phone number. So we call the phone number and He's like, hey, what's up? And we're like, hey, you know, we're so-and-so. So instantly, we're telling him everything that we know. He believes us instantly. But he contacts the family and let the family talk to him and let the family hear. Yep, the, the, he put the, the daddy the on the daddy freeway on the phone. with me. And the daddy automatically assumed that it was like some it people was some, just trying to get some, some money. Trolling, yeah. And was lying. And we was not trolling whatsoever. So I was like, well, you can call MPD. Our names is already in there. They got everything we need in the police report. Everything is real. You know, we just contacted you so y'all can know. And y'all can get further leads. So, you know, we apprehended her. We telling them everything that we know. We even sending pictures and videos. So they finally believe that. We know what we're talking about at this point. They finally know that we know what we're talking about. So at this point, um, we just we getting we talking to the family now. Close close contact with Deion Green and the family. Shout out to Deion Green and the family for talking to us and um, telling us what we needed to know. We trying to get pictures of the car at this point because now we like okay we about to go back to the house. The address to see the, the to police see is telling us the, baby the police the is telling us that they're waiting on a warrant outside the house. Poppy, go back in the room. So the police is telling us that we are waiting on, they're waiting on a search warrant to go inside the house. So we drive past the house because we like, we know we seem like a Honda outside, but we don't know what the, what to actually look for. So um, we finally go back to the house. We ride past. We see so many police officers outside, front and back. Um, my kids in here asking the food. Get out of here, Pablo. Go on somewhere. <laughs> go get daddy or go watch TV. So, um. Yeah, better get y'all one of these. I'm telling y'all, part 14. <laughs> and y'all think he has something to do with it. We don't need more kids. Shit, trying to get this girl girl. They gone. They need to go and go. It's going to break. All y'all kids, go in the room now.
Okay, so this is part 14 of finding baby K and apprehending Nay. Nay is Nayla is apprehended at this point. So now our main goal is to find baby K. So we know that she ain't saying nothing about the baby. So now we sitting and we contemplating with each other. We getting something to eat at this point and we figuring out what she done said. We thinking about everything. Looking in the back seat, it's a bottle of alcohol, but I'm, I even asked the officer to smell it and see if it was milk. I'm like, okay, is this milk in here? Is this alcohol? I don't want to smell he it. He said it wasn't alcohol. He said though. it wasn't it didn't alcohol. Smell like alcohol. Yeah, but he said it was sweet. He, it didn't smell like breast milk, but I'm like, this looked like breast it was milk. some breast milk because I breastfed a couple of my kids, so I know. So I'm like, there's no way. This this is this is weird. So we look at in the back, we find a bus schedule. So the bus schedule was our number one fucking lead. clue. Like, it was our number one lead yeah. at this point. She's apprehended. We know that they already went to the house. They there's nobody in the house. The doors is up wide open. The police is in the front and the back. We don't see no Honda outside. We thought we seen one earlier, but we like nah. They said it was wrecked and damaged. Nah, this this can't be it. So okay, at this point, we are going through the bus line. Okay, she we like she said twenty fifth or the no, bus twenty five line, whatever however you say it, on the sixteenth street. We know that she was everywhere. So this bus line is showing everywhere that she can possibly yep. go 56 in georgetown where, we, where she first where seen her yep and all the shopping centers that she was seeing in speedway so go in the room and shut the door so now we're in speedway so uh we're in speedway plaza and it starts snowing real bad down here it's the, the weather's bad down here but we didn't care at this point we're driving so we went everywhere out there on, on 16th street yeah we we went we from was driving damn it, coles all the way east down side to the west to side Rainbow. yes like we searched that whole parking lot. The whole for parking that car. lot for that car we did not see. We even went on the other side and started searching. And then we like, well, what if the car turned off somewhere? If she just hopped on the bus. So now we following the bus line. So we head back to 16. Now we now we no, now no no no. As we're heading back down that way from uh searching the parking lot, we're calling Dion that. called me. Yeah, and I'm Dion on the phone called. with detectives trying to tell them about the bus line they didn't so answer. they didn't answer so she's on the phone with dion which was perfect timing yep we tell him about the car he's like well if this is this is this, this we like well it has We've that seen a car that fits the description but, but it, was it wasn't blue. the same color it but it fit blue. the dent the bumper you know everything everything she had indiana plates but we was like she could steal some plates right so we like okay this fit in the description i said but if, you, if they are certain that the car is black then that's not the car so we kept on driving so mm -hmm. now we on 16th street we remember she said Papa John. She no, kept she, saying Papa John, though. So? Are you? She kept yeah, saying she kept the university. Saying university. She kept on saying the university. So we like them. Okay, this is part 15, and this should be the final part. So part 15, we remember that she said the university. We remember that she said Papa John's. We remember all this. So now we're putting two and two together. Like, why would she say the university? We know that the street that she was that we found her on was a couple blocks up, well, maybe like 10 minutes away. It wasn't a couple blocks. It was like 10 minutes away. Mm -hmm. So we like, okay, well, why would she say the university? She has to remember this by something. The baby, the car might be over there. So we going that way to drive home. I'm like, well, wait a minute, twin. Just stop it, Blaze. Pizza. Thank the Lord. I kept telling Blaze, her right before please, I said that Blaze she's on the phone Pizza with Dion. has a, a, a plaza with a lot of food places Papa and John's. Papa John's being one. Yep. So at this point, I'm like, twin, God is with us. I'm telling twin, like, God is with us. We got faith. You feel me? God is with us. So we go to Papa John's. I mean, we go to, uh, we turn into Blaze Pizza parking lot. I'm like, twin, instantly I see the car. I'm like, Papa John's, go to Papa John's. She's on the phone. I'm like, no, I'm just <laughs> So she goes to, she's on the phone with Dion. So I'm like, she's like, okay, I'm telling please. him, stay on this phone. Yeah. We think this is the car right no, here. It stay wasn't, on the phone. No, yeah, you didn't even hear me. I'm like, twin, go to Papa John. She's like, okay, Papa John's. Okay, twin. Okay, now. Okay. She's on the phone. She's not even listening. I'm like, twin, go to Papa John. She said, you know what, Dion? Don't hang up this phone now. She said, we, uh, we think that we see the car. So mind you, I seen the car was wrecked in the front. I seen it was wrecked on the side. When we pull around, she can see that there's a sticker on the car. We can and see that there's no plates on the plate. car. Yep. So as soon as we got close enough, I hopped out the car. I run in the car. The Dion, back my door, she checked the back Dion, door that Dion was locked. told us what it said on the back of the car. Yeah, it said West Side City sticker. Boys. He told so us it was a I sticker. I seen that sticker. There. I was like, yes! I just started screaming, y'all. My bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she tried to open the back door. The back door was We're locked. We're not open. So I, I ended up cutting the, my hand. the driver door. Open the driver door. At this point, I look in the back. I see baby legs. I don't hear a baby. All I smell is a foul smell. Now, instantly, at this point, I'm like, no! I'm screaming, I'm screaming. 
She hears me screaming. She said no. She runs to go find the police. I'm so I glad. I ran to uh, I ran Lace in Papa Pizza. John's. No, I ran in Papa oh, okay. John's, and I told him I said, "Y'all need to call the police." This yeah. baby that got kidnapped from Ohio is it's out here in his car, and I exactly. thought he was dead, but thank God he, he was wasn't. not. Yes. Yeah, so at this so point, I told them, and then I hopped in my car because I we hopped out the damn car. It wasn't parked or none of that. Yeah. We was in the wrong spot and everything, so I had to get back in my car. And as I'm bagging out, I see it's police over at the Blaze Pizza where we was originally supposed, supposed to be. To be anyway, yeah. I ran. I, well, I didn't run. I went. Drove. I drove over there, honey, and I got it. I went in the Blaze Pizza and I was screaming and yelling and telling them it was a baby over here in his car that has been kidnapped. And we think the baby. And is they dead. asked. And they asked me what car they asked me where at. Honey, I so in the midst of her, in the midst of her being over there, I'm in the car. I'm unlocking the door. As I start screaming, I hear the baby screaming. So I open up the back door. I'm like, okay. I was telling the man, open up the back door. Open the back door. My my anxiety was to the roof at this point. Open the back door. So at this point, we open. This is part 16, final part. So at this point, the baby was safe. He was found out of the car. He was sucking on his fingers. Um, so happy that he was alive. Grabbed him out of the car, instantly took him inside of Papa John's. I'm on the phone with police. Of course, you got to wait three minutes to get connected with somebody. So, finally on the phone with police and so excited that the baby was found. We was on the phone with Dion Green at the time of finding him. So joyous. He contacted the family on three-way. I was blowing the mama phone up uh, because yes. I had previously talked to the mama and let her know that I found the girl yeah. that did it. Yeah. Honey, I was blowing his mother's phone up. I, yes. I was so out. I got asthma. So, honey, I'm out of breath running and screaming. you like... <laughs> It, and, yeah. and I was like so mad. I'm like, well, how long this car been outside? They like it's been out there for like four days. Why ain't nobody reported? The lady gonna say, well, my manager told me to. But ma'am, you should have reported this car stolen. And he would have been some, found much sooner. Much sooner. Fact, but I'm so happy. The only thing that was wrong with the baby really um, was his diaper was um, funky. It needed to be changed. Other but than that, he she still, didn't care about the baby. His, his, she was he not. Was just so cute, so cute, so abused. handsome. I was so he was looking at me happy. Like, I was just like, baby K, baby K. It was just, it was a very joyous moment it for was. us, and I was so happy to hear the mother's cries over the phone, and it was toy tears of joy. It was very beautiful. Um, but to all the people that had the backlash, here is the story, the full story. Hear it first here, because I'm not. We're not going to repeat it over and over again. Watch the videos and y'all can watch the take it however y'all want to take it. Yeah, and the, you yes. know however y'all feel. However y'all feel, feel exactly. Y'all not paying us. Y'all not making or breaking us, baby. Nope. And y'all not taking care of these badass kids we got over here. Either. Okay. So, hey, hey, quiet, quiet, quiet. Everybody wants to cry, but everybody needs to go to their dad. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> okay. Get so. Up. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and Pablo, say bye. Uh, Kaylee trying to be a snitch. Say bye. Kaylee, say bye. Bye. I know, right?